Good morning. Hi, Auntie Terry. Good morning and welcome to Evolution Pilates. We're going to be doing a mat class today. My name's Meredith. I am a Pilates instructor here at Evolution and I'm also a chiropractor. So we're going to be approaching this from um, a fitness standpoint, a Pilates standpoint, but also from um, more of a anatomical and um, very alignment based standpoint. We're going to wait a couple more minutes just for a few more people to join and then we're going to get started. So I will say that we're going to be doing quite a bit of stuff on our wrists this morning, um, so on our hands. So I'm going to give you a couple of different options that you can do to modify. Um, and then I would also suggest that if you are using a squishier mat, maybe have your hands on the floor versus on the squishy mat. Um, the squishy mat kind of puts your wrist into a little bit more extension than um, might be comfortable for you, but you can kind of play around with it. Um, we're going to be working a lot on that scapular stability. So yeah, we'll just wait a couple more minutes and then we're going to get going. Good morning, Mom. I've got Megan in the background there running the music. So if you guys have any questions for me before we get started, then go ahead and shoot a little question into the comment box. Hi, Kelly. You did it. All right, well, we're just going to wait two more minutes and then we'll get started. Make sure you've got lots of space around you and you've got water. <laughs> Megan's lying down in the background. I don't know if I can get her moving or not. <laughs> All right. What time and day is this? This is Friday. It's 10 a.m. in our mm -hmm. lovely city of Langley, BC. That was hailing this morning and now it's sunny outside again. So who knows? <laughs> so this video will be around 30 minutes long and it's going to be saved to the Evolution Instagram page. Um, under the stories for 24 hours and then I believe that we're going to be saving this to our YouTube page as well So you'll have lots of access to these workouts You will not be without your Pilates or your yoga We'll wait one more minute and then we're gonna get going So like I said, it is gonna be quite wrist heavy so Oh, sorry these Oh, that these videos go live for exercise? Um, it's live right now. <laughs> yeah, it goes live every day at 10 a.m. A Monday to Friday, 10 a.m. are the exercise, um, uh, the live exercise workouts. But yeah, so it is going to be wrist heavy. I'm going to give you some modifications to do. Um, try to go on a flat surface if your mat's really squishy. Um, you can just go straight on the floor or I'm going to show you how to kind of prop your wrist up so that you don't have to get that really pinching sensation. And every once in a while I'm going to try to come back and check um, the comments to see if um, anyone has any questions. Alright, so let's get started. So we're actually going to be starting standing up today. So just have your feet sit bone distance apart or so, maybe a little bit wider, whatever is comfortable. And then you're going to have a bit of a soft bend in your knees. So we're just going to start taking a nice deep breath and reach everything up. And then exhale. Let it come down one more time like that. Deep breath and reach everything up. And then exhale. You're going to nod your chin to your chest. Keep those knees soft and start to roll your spine all the way down. All the way down to the floor, just starting to warm up your spine. Deep breath in at the bottom. And then exhale, rounding through your spine. Rolling all the way up. Inhaling at the top. And exhale. Rolling down. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, rolling up. So we're really just thinking about mobilizing through our spine. Inhale, lift. Exhale, nod the chin down. Bend those knees, straighten the knees, rolling all the way up. And then this time just inhale, lift everything up. Grabbing onto your wrist with one hand, you're gonna side bend over, opening up through that side body. 
Let that bottom shoulder just drop down. Inhale up through the center. Grabbing onto the opposite wrist and exhale over. Dropping that shoulder down. Inhale up through the top. One more time each side. Exhale over. Inhale up. And reaching off and over to the other side. And inhale up. Good. This time, reach those arms up. You're going to inhale over to the right. Make sure those knees are nice and soft. Exhale, round your spine towards the right corner of your room. Inhale up into your side bend. And exhale through the center. Good. Inhale up and over. And exhale, curve your spine towards the left. Inhale, open. And up. One more time each side. Inhale over. Exhale, curve. Inhale, lift. And exhale, center. Last time to the left. Exhale, curve. Inhale. And exhale. And then just let those arms float down. Roll those shoulders back. Send your feet about a little bit wider than shoulder distance apart. You're going to have your abs pulled tight. I'm just going to turn sideways so that you can see. I'm reaching my bum backwards, bending my knees, and just moving into our first squat, and then squeezing my bum to come back up. So as we move, we're thinking about our hips going backwards first, and then I'm pressing through my heels to lift back up. So you want to watch that you're not letting that spine curve forward. You want to keep that chest lifted, and then squeeze to your bum to come up. We're going to do 10 more. 10, squeeze to lift. Nine, eight, we're just taking it slow. It's not about getting our cardio up, it's about moving our joints. This is six, and five. Back is staying straight, we're using our breath. Four, three, two, one more. And lift back up. Good job. I'm going to turn it face you again. So staying in our squat uh, theme here, we're going to shift on to one side. So our opposite foot's going to be a little kickstand. We want to make sure our hips aren't tilted. Keep them nice and square. Kickstanding that foot. You can reach those arms forward for balance. Same thing. Reach your hips back to a little mini squat. And then push through the heel to come up. And down. And push. And down. And push, and again, it's about mobilizing those joints. So really feel that nice deep crease in the hip socket. We've got five more. And four, relaxing through the fronts of those ankles. And three. And two. One more. And coming up, then we're gonna switch right on over to the other side. So making sure those hips aren't tilted. You can kind of see with my Shirt, it's pretty obvious if my hips do start to tilt, so maybe you can check that out on yourself. Same thing, hips are gonna go straight back. Coming up and down, using your breath. Inhale into the belly, exhale. Good, we've got six more. Hips are going back, mobilizing those joints. Relax to the fronts of the ankles. Keep that chest lifted. Good. We've got three more, three, and two, and one. Good job. Shake those ankles out. Coming back to two feet again. Move your feet a little bit closer than you had them before. You're gonna send your hips all the way back into your squat. It doesn't have to be the lowest squat you've ever done, but from here, you're gonna come straight up, squeeze your bum, press, shift your weight forward to the balls of your feet, lift your heels. So you're coming all the way down with control, and then you're coming straight up, lift your heels. Good, so straight down, and straight up, squeeze your bum up to the ceiling. There goes my balance. Straight down, and straight up. So feel how the weight has to shift. So we're going back into the heels, and then as we come forward, we're shifting into the balls of our feet to come straight up. Shifting back into our heels, and then into the balls and the feet to come up. 
We've got five more for five. Whoop. And four. My balance is not at my best this morning. For three. And press lift. For two. And press lift. Last one down. And press lift, hold. Good. Ooh, find your balance. Think about the ribs coming together. Abs are tight, spine is long. Squeezing through your bum, lifting up all those legs. Feel how you can squeeze your bum and that helps with your stability. Lift up on your kneecaps. So in this position, I'm gonna get you to just bring your arms forward. So elbows are in line with your shoulders. You can kind of see. We're lengthening through our upper back. Our abs are pulled tight. So here we are in a plank position. Standing plank position. So we're firing through those legs. Our abs are pulled in nice and tight and we're lengthening through our spine. So imagine that you're in a plank on the floor. We don't want to be here, right? This is way harder to balance. We want to be here. Nice and tall, lengthening through that spine. Abs are pulled tight in three, two, one, and then let it go. Good work, shake those legs out. All right, so I'm gonna face this way, just standing in the middle of your mat, take a nice deep breath in, reach everything up, and then exhale, nod your chin to your chest, soften those knees, roll all the way down, bring your fingertips to the floor, and you're gonna walk yourself out onto your hands and knees. Okay, so here we are, this is where we're gonna start doing some work on our wrists. So your options are, if your wrists start to get tired, just come on down to your elbows. So that's option one. Option two is you can actually take your mat, fold it up, and have the heels of your hands off the edge of the mat. So it creates a little platform so you decrease that kind of pinching flexion. The other option is to come onto our fingertips, onto the first two knuckles. Um, so you've got quite a few options there, but try to keep going as much as you can. So we're here, we're gonna set ourselves up so that our knees are under our hips and our shoulders directly over top of our wrists. So we're just gonna start with some cat-cows. We're gonna inhale, let your belly drop down, looking up towards the ceiling. And then exhale, rounding your spine. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. And then let's just come back to neutral. Good. So we're going to keep our spine nice and long in our neutral. We're looking towards the floor, maybe just a few feet in front of our fingertips. Back of the neck is long. We're going to keep our elbows straight. We're going to squeeze our shoulder blades together and then spread them apart. And squeeze together and spread apart. So it's really easy to want to bend our elbows here. So really work on getting those elbows straight and just moving from the shoulder blades. This should start to feel really nice and warm coming across the tops of your shoulders. Watch that your hips don't shift back. You want to keep that chest right in between your hands. Good. We've got four more. And press. And three. And press. And two. And press, one more, and press. Good, walk those hands far, far, far away from you. Keep those hips over top of your knees, and then send your chest down. So big stretch through your chest. Good, press into your hands, come back up, bring your hands under your shoulders again. Again, draw those abs in nice and tight, support that low back. We're gonna inhale, reach one arm forward, and then exhale, place it back down. Inhale, opposite arm forward. And place it back down. Inhale, lift. And place it down. Inhale. And place it down. We've got four more. For four. For three. For two. One more. And place it down. Good. Tuck your toes under. Hug those abs into your spine, press into your fingertips, and just hover those feet up, or knees up, I should say. 
All right, so spine is nice and long. Knees are hovered off the floor. If this gets to be too much, just place the knees back down. Otherwise, keep those knees hovered. You're gonna squeeze your shoulder blades together and apart. Together and apart. Together, again, keeping those arms nice and straight. Together, apart, we've got four more. Four and three and two. One more, hold here. Spread those shoulder blades nice and wide, press into your fingertips, holding for four, for three, for two, hold those abs in. One more, gently place them down. Again, untuck those toes, walk your hands forward. Far forward as they'll go without your bum moving, and then send your hips back, chest low. And take a nice deep breath. Just starting to build a little bit of heat in that body. Good. Bring your chest back up. Walk your hands back underneath of your shoulders. Good. So from here, I always like to overcorrect. From here, you're going to send your left leg straight back. Place it on the floor and fire up those thighs. Really tone up the thighs. Squeeze your bum. Just like when we were standing. You're going to inhale, reach that right arm forward. And then exhale, start to lift it up. And twist. And then again, inhale, reach it forward. Exhale, up, looking towards that hand. Three more times. Inhale, reach up. And exhale. Inhale, reach up. And exhale. One more. And exhale. And then place that back down. Opposite leg's going to reach back. So right leg's going to reach straight back. Really place it down firmly, squeeze the bum, fire up the legs. Inhale, reach that left arm forward. And exhale, twist. You might notice that one side moves a little bit easier than the other. This is definitely my tighter side. And a reach. Last one, reach. And then place it back down. Bring the knee under the, the hip again. Reach those arms forward. And send your chest back. Really getting those shoulders warmed up. Good. Walk those hands back. From here, we've got two options. Option one is keeping our knees down. Our right leg is going to come straight back. We're keeping our abs nice and tight. And we're squeezing and lifting that back leg. Option two is keeping that left toe tucked. We're going to hover the knee off and then lift the leg from there. It's to your, your level where you're going to work today. Challenge yourself though. So let's set ourselves up. Hips are square, abs are pulled in tight. Chest is in between the hands. And if we need to, you can always come onto your elbows and you can still do the lifted knee section from your elbows. So here we are. Spine is long, abs are tight. We're going to squeeze your bum to lift up and down. Lift and down. Watching that your shoulders don't start to collapse here. Keep them nice and wide. Lift up and down. Squeeze and down. Squeeze and down. Squeeze and down. We've got eight, seven. Make sure the work is really happening in your bum. Five, four, three, Two, good, hold it up there for one. If that knee is lifted, go ahead and place it down now. You're gonna bend the knee in, you're gonna open it up to the side, and then you're gonna lift it straight up. Bend the knee in, lift it up to the side, and straight up. So we're working on some hip mobility here. Bend it in, open, and lift. Bending it in, open, and lift. One more this direction, in, open, and lift and then bring it back down. Reverse the direction, lift it up first, open it out to the side and then bring it down. Lift, open and down. Good, keep those shoulders nice and strong. Lift, open and down. One more, lift, open and down. Good, place that knee down, send your hands forward, far as they can go, let the chest hang down. Nice little shoulder stretch again. 
Bring those hands back underneath of you, coming down onto your elbows. Fists are gonna go straight into the floor. You're gonna send that right leg back again. Option to stay here or drawing those abs in, finding our plank, just like what we did when we were standing. So you can have your feet nice and wide, or if you wanna take the challenge, bring your feet a little bit closer together. Really press those hands into the floor, standing as tall as you can, drawing those abs in, firing up your legs. We're holding for 10, nine, eight, seven, hug those abs in, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Gently let those knees come down. Bring yourself back up. We're gonna go on to the other side. So left leg's gonna come back. Chest is in between your hands. You're gonna hover that right knee off the floor or you're gonna keep it down, totally your choice. Abs are pulled in, you're gonna squeeze your bum to lift up and down and lift and down. Up, lift, up. Good, keep thinking about squaring those hips off and drawing those abs in. Shoulders are strong for eight, seven, six, really press your chest up. Four, three, two, keep it up there for one, hold. Bend the knee, you're gonna bring it forward, open it up to the side and lift it up. Good, bring it forward, open and lift, forward, open and lift forward open and lift one more time this direction open and lift and then bring it back down switch directions lift it up open up to the side so we're really trying to increase that range of motion in your hip socket so watch that you're not letting those hips move and rotate too much open one more open bringing it down walking those hands forward Sending your chest down, feeling that nice stretch in the shoulders. Good, bring the chest back up, walking your hands underneath of your shoulders again. Keeping in this four point kneeling position, you're gonna wrap your elbows into your side. So really think about, if you can kind of see here, instead of being here, I want you to pull those elbows into your side. Feel the sides of your body squeeze. So you're gonna stay here, Keeping your bum over top of your hips, you're gonna send your elbows backwards and your nose forward as far as it'll go. And then you push yourself back up. So from the side, it looks like this. We're squeezing those elbows in. Elbows are coming back. We're dipping our nose forward and then we're pushing straight up. So you're gonna feel the backs of your arms on this one. Right, Meg? Right. Yeah. So we're squeezing in. We're gonna inhale down and exhale. Press up. Inhale down. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale down. Exhale. Challenge yourself to see how far forward you can get that nose. We've got four more. For four. For three. Squeeze those elbows in. For two. And one. Coming down onto those elbows. Sending your left leg back, firing up that leg. Squeezing your bum, press the opposite leg up to meet it. Hold this nice long plank position. So lengthening through your spine, drawing those abs in, squeezing your bum. Keep lengthening everything out. We're holding for five, for four, for three, for two, and one. Gently let those knees come down, sit back. We're gonna take an actual shell pose here. So reaching those arms forward, chest is dropping down, hips are back towards your heels, head is forward. Taking a nice deep breath in here. Good, rolling your spine up. From this position, come up into your high knees, send one leg forward. From here, we're staying in our kneeling position just for the moment. We're gonna tuck our pelvis under to find that little bit of a stretch through the front of the bottom hip, and then lunge forward. And then come back. Release that pelvic tilt, and then again, tuck under, hinge forward, and lift back up. And then release. Let's do two more like that. So we're tucking under, hinging forward, coming back, 
and then release. One more, tucking under, hinging forward, lengthening back, and then release. I'm gonna to switch to the other side. Opposite leg comes forward. So same thing here, we're gonna tuck our pelvis under, hinging forward, coming back, and then release that little tuck. And again, tucking under, you'll feel a deeper stretch through that bottom leg, reach and let it go. Two more times, tucking under, hinging forward, lengthening, and let it go. Last time, tucking under, hinging forward, letting it back, and letting it go. All right, so from here, we're gonna be on our knees for a few minutes. So if you'd like to, go ahead and double your mat so you get a little bit more knee support. We wanna set ourselves up so that our knees are coming directly from our hips, so nice and long. Our abs are gonna be tight. We're gonna have our toes pointed at the back. If you feel really, really unstable, you can go ahead and tuck your toe under, but otherwise really focus on trying to keep the, the bottom part of your leg nice and long. I'm gonna face the opposite direction for this. So here I am, again in that kneeling plank like position, so we're keeping our knees our hips and our shoulders all in one long line. My ribs are gonna come together and I'm gonna find that little bit of a tuck in my pelvis. Keeping my hands on my hips for the moment. I'm gonna inhale, hinge from my knees. So I'm gonna inhale, hinge back and exhale, lengthen my spine to come up. Inhale, hinge back and exhale. Inhale, hinge back, squeezing through your glutes to support this shape. One more like that, inhale, hinge, and exhale. Reach the arms forward, same thing, inhale, hinge back, exhale. One more, just like that, inhale, hinge, exhale. Good, this time we're gonna add in our arms. You don't have to, if you wanna stay here, go for it. Otherwise, we're gonna inhale, hinge back, reach, and exhale. Inhale, hinge, and reach, and exhale. Two more like that. This is gonna be a lot of work on your thighs. Exhale. One more, inhale. And exhale. Coming all the way down, tuck those toes under, hover those knees up, hold this position. So a little bare position plank. From here, you're gonna send one leg straight back and then bring it back in. Opposite leg goes straight back and then we bring it back in. Don't forget about those nice wide shoulders. We're reaching the leg back and in, and back and in. We've got eight, seven, bring it in, six, press into your fingertips, five, keeping those hips nice and square, for four, for three, for two, one more, and bring it back in, gently let those knees come down. Walking yourself back up. I'm gonna turn and face you for this. If you need to shake your knees out, go for it. Reset, roll those shoulders back. So from this nice high kneeling position, we're gonna have our arms out to the side. We're gonna inhale, tip over to the left, and then exhale, use your obliques to bring yourself back up. Inhale, tipping over to the right. And exhale. So we're trying to keep our hips nice and stacked. Inhale, hinge. Exhale. Inhale, hinge. And exhale. Four more. For four. Thinking about using your abs to bring you back up. For two. Last one. This time, inhale over to the left. Place those fingertips down, reach your right leg out to the side. Now, if it feels good to you, go ahead and place that hand down or tent your fingertips up. Keep your hips nice and square. I'm gonna place my hand all the way down. Reach that arm straight up to the ceiling. We're gonna inhale, lift that side leg. Exhale, place it down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Good, we've got eight and lower, seven, and lower, reach six, and lower, five, and four. If your neck starts to bother you, look at the bottom hand, three, two, one, and 
two. One more. Good, bringing that knee down. Bringing yourself up, using your abs, and up and over to the other side, inhale. And then straighten that opposite leg out, tenting your fingers or onto the floor, your choice. You can't see my face, but that's okay. Looking forward or at the bottom hand, keeping those abs nice and tight, bottom leg is straight. We're gonna inhale, lift up and down. In, lift, lift. We've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more. Bringing that leg in, using your abs to bring you all the way up. And then you're gonna sit onto your right bum cheek. Good, reach that right arm straight up. Side bend over towards that left side. Looking down towards that bottom foot. And then looking up towards that top arm. Big reach up and over, keep increasing that stretch. And then bring yourself back up. Now it's up to you, you can lift up from this position, whoop, and then sitting over to the other side, or you can just swing your legs around and we'll meet on the other side. Inhale, lift that left arm straight up and then side bend over. So we're taking a nice big long stretch through the side body, really reaching that arm as long as possible. Looking down towards the foot. And then go ahead and look up towards the top arm and reach that arm a little bit further. And then coming up, go ahead and kick those legs forward. I'm going to turn to face this way. And we're ready for our abs. So reaching those arms forward, take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, start to curl your spine under, bending your knees if you need to. Really round the abs. Round the spine, take your time getting down there. All the way down to the floor. And then we're extending through our spine. I'm gonna make sure that you can see me in the camera. Feet are gonna be bent. So we're focusing on trying to maintain an imprinted position. So in this position, we're trying to hollow out the front of our belly and reach our low back into the floor. Our hip flexors are not going to help us here. We're gonna to have to think really about using those deep abdominal muscles, the deep, deep layers underneath all of the external stuff. The deepest ab layer you can imagine is pulling in. Hands are gonna come behind your head to support your head. Elbows are reaching up towards the corners of the room. Inhale, exhale, nod your chin to your chest. Curling up, inhale, back down. Exhale, nod and curl. Inhale, down. Exhale, curl. Inhale, down. Exhale, curl. Inhale, down. We've got four more. Keep thinking about that low belly pressing into the floor for three. And down for two. And down. One more time. Exhale, curl. Hold. Good. Reaching one arm forward. Reaching it all the way up to the ceiling. Inhale. Exhale, place it down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, place it down. Inhale, up. Exhale, place it down. Inhale, up. Exhale, place. We've got four more. And three. And two. One more. Place that hand behind your head. Inhale, back down. Exhale, curling up. Opposite arm reaches forward. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, place it down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, place. Hug those abs in even tighter. Inhale. We've got four more. Breathing into your belly. Front of the neck is loose. One more. Hand behind your head. Lower back down, inhale. And exhale, curling back up. Both arms are reaching forward. So we can always go back to one hand behind the head if you need to. Otherwise, reaching those arms forward, sinking those abs down, curling up as high as you can. Inhale, lift up. Exhale. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. 
Exhale, four more. And three. And two. One more. And then bring those hands behind your head. And lower back down. Good, keeping those hands there. You're gonna be curling up and lifting your right knee. Inhale, back down. Exhale, curling up. Inhale, back down. Exhale, curl. Inhale, down. Exhale, curl. Inhale, down. Four more like that for four. And down. And three. And down. And two. And down. One more. We're gonna add a little bit of a twist. So as you lift that right leg, you're gonna be twisting towards the right leg. Watch that you don't tip through your hips. Keep your hips nice and square. So that was a nice little break for you. So inhale, exhale, curl. Inhale, back down. Exhale, reach. Inhale, down. Exhale, curl. Inhale, reach. Inhale, reach. Four more for four. And down. And three. And down. And two. And down. One more. And back down. Good. Reach that leg straight up to the ceiling. So you can keep your head down for this or you can curl up and hold here. We're going to inhale lower. Exhale. Inhale lower. Inhale. Inhale. Four more. Four. Taking the rest of your head if you need it. And then coming straight back up. Two more. One more. Place it back down. Feet flat. Hands Head can come down, hands are going to go by your side. We're going to take a little mini rest on your abs just for a moment. Inhale here. Exhale, squeeze your bum, press straight up. Inhale, back down. Exhale, squeeze and press. Inhale, down. Exhale. Inhale, down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, down. Four more. For four. And down. For three. And down. For two. And down, one more, press up and hold. Good, inhale, reach those arms up. Exhale, place them down. Inhale, reach them up. Exhale. Notice that I'm not letting my ribs go. I'm trying to keep my ribs coming close together. For four, squeeze your bum, lift a little bit higher. For three, for two. Last one. And then place those hips back down. Interlacing your head behind, your hands behind your head. Inhale here, exhale, curling up. Inhale down, exhale, curl. Inhale down, exhale, curl. Inhale down, exhale, curl. Inhale down, four more, for four. And down, for three. And down, for two. And down, last one, curling up and hold. Reaching those arms forward. So again, you can always go to four on one side, four on the other side. Otherwise, we're right here. Curl up as high as you can. Inhale, lift. Exhale, sink those abs down. Inhale, lift. Exhale. I'm also squeezing my bum so that my legs stay active. Four more. For four. For three. For two. One more. Good. Hands behind your head. Inhale, back down. This time, lifting that left leg. Exhale, curling up. And down. Exhale, curl. And down. Exhale, curl. And down. Exhale, curl. And down. For four. For three. For two. One more. Keep that leg there. Inhale, down. Exhale, curl to a twist. Inhale, exhale, twist. Inhale, exhale, twist. Inhale, exhale, twist. For four. For three. For two. For one. Come back to the center, lift that leg straight up, keeping your head down or curling up. Inhale, lower the leg down, exhale. Inhale, 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 four more. 
Hugging those low abs down, especially as the leg lowers. Two more. Last one. Placing that foot down, letting your head come down, hands by your side. Squeezing your bum to press straight back up. Inhale down. Exhale, squeeze and press. Inhale down. Exhale, squeeze and press. Inhale down. Exhale, squeeze and press. Inhale down. Four more. For four. And down. For three. And down. For two. And down. Last one. Press up and hold. You're going to lift your left hip up a little bit higher. And then your right hip up a little bit higher. We're going left and right. Really stand on your feet. Feel the heels pressing into the ground. And left and right. Keep going for eight. Switch. Seven. Switch. Six. Five. Abs stay tight. Four. Three. Two. One. Lift both hips up. Take little pulses going up. 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 So really think about going higher every time and not letting your hips drop at all. We've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let the hips lower down. Send those legs nice and long. Reach your body out. Inhale. And then exhale, bringing your hands to the ceiling, nodding your chin to your chest, and starting to roll yourself all the way up, using your elbows or bent knees if you need to. Rolling all the way up and forward, stretching forward, deep breath in. And exhale, rolling all the way down, thinking about moving one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, reach. And exhale, nodding the chin. Up and forward, big stretch. And rolling down. Last one, inhale. And exhale, rolling up. All the way up and forward. Stretching here just for a moment. A couple more things we're going to do today. Go ahead and roll all the way up. Send those legs back. We're going to come back onto our hands and knees. Setting yourself up again. Nice strong shoulders. Send one leg straight back behind you. Draw those abs in. Lift the opposite leg up. Lengthen through your spine. Press those heels back. I know you can't see them, but I'm going to walk forward now you can see them. Press those heels back and then lift your heels up. Press back and lift up. Press back, up. Press back and up. Four more. Four, staying nice and tall. And three. And two. One more. And press. Good, from here, hold the plank position. Start to lift your hips up. Walk your hands back towards your feet. Softly bend those knees at your head hang down. Rolling your spine all the way up. Inhale, lift those arms up. Exhale, rolling all the way down. Bending your knees to bring your hands to the floor. Walk your hands out. From your toes or from your knees, your elbows can go a little bit wider than your body. You're gonna inhale, lower. Exhale. Two more. One more. Lift those hips up. Walking your hands back towards your feet with control. Softly bend those knees and roll all the way up. One more time, inhale, lift. Exhale, lowering down, rolling through your spine. Fingertips to the floor, walking all the way out. Finding that nice long body. So from your knees or from your toes, you're gonna inhale, lower, exhale. Inhale, exhale, one more. Lifting those hips up, walking your hands back towards your feet. Letting your head hang down just for the moment. Decompressing that low back. <clears throat> so I'm losing my breath. Inhale here. Exhale. Start to roll your spine all the way up. Separate your feet so that they're about sit bone distance apart again. 
We're gonna inhale, squat down, exhale, press up. Inhale, inhale down, inhale down. We've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one, pressing all the way up into your rise. Feel the length of your spine here. I'm gonna turn sideways, drawing those abs in. Remembering that nice long plank we did, we're firing up through our legs. Keep the length through your spine as you slowly lower your heels down. Shrug those shoulders up and let them drop back down. All right, <clears throat> nice work everyone. We went a little bit longer than I had originally anticipated doing, but I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, like I said before, it's gonna be live on our Evolution page for the next 24 hours. And uh, if you didn't get a chance to do it this morning, I hope you get a chance to do it before the live goes away, but it will be on our YouTube page, so you can definitely check that out. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, like I said again, I'm Meredith. I'm a Pilates instructor here at Evolution, and I am also a chiropractor. So if you ever have any questions about your muscles or your bones or your joints, please feel free to reach out to me. I'll uh, write my Instagram handle on here, and uh, I hope to talk to you soon. Meredith.barber.dc. Awesome. Have a great day, everyone.